I'd like us to prepare for a yoga nidra experience. And in practicing yoga nidra, you have several options. So yoga nidra is traditionally done lying down. Although if lying down isn't available for you wherever you're at right now, you may sit down. If you are sitting, I do advise that you get as comfortable as possible. Um, and that can mean different things for different people. Some people in practicing yoga nidra in a chair really just oh, lounge back. If you'd like to cover yourself with a blanket, support yourself with pillows, that is a beautiful thing. If you're lying down as well, please get as comfortable as possible. And another option that some people like to do is to sit on the ground, but against a wall, because the wall may give you a little bit of support. And the key here is to take all effort out of the experience. Sometimes when we think of meditation, we think of sitting meditation. That is a way to meditate for sure. But as one of my teachers likes to say, yoga nidra is, can very much be described as meditation made easy. And it really is this experience of removing the effort and embracing a sense of ease. So I'm going to give you a minute here to really settle in. If you're already settled, stay settled. Maybe you'd like to take a stretch or a movement. And even if you're settled, taking some of these organic stretches and movements before we come into this experience of stillness can help prepare your body more deeply for meditation. And I like to tell folks in doing yoga nidra, you really can't do it wrong. I mean, I will say that if you're efforting, if you're striving, the experience may not feel as restful as it could. So taking these last few seconds here, whatever you need to do to get comfortable, embrace the ease, let that happen. So we are a recovery meditation themed group that typically meets here. And so I thought it would be nice for this evening's yoga nidra, or if you're watching it later on the recording, to really work with a recovery theme as part of our intention. And recovery means different things to different people. Uh, for many of us who gather here on Thursday night, we're in recovery from some kind of chemical or behavioral addiction. Yet, as a lot of my friends and associates in this work like to say, we're all in recovery from something. For you, it might be trauma recovery, mental health recovery, recovering from a physical ailment, just recovering from this, this global situation that we find ourselves in. So maybe notice for a moment what recovery means to you. And a little tip is that if you don't like the word recovery, maybe see if a word like restoration or renewal works for you. So whether you're working with recovery, restoration or renewal, really hold that word in your awareness and you may keep your eyes closed or open throughout. And as you sit with the word recovery, restoration, or renewal, perhaps notice if there is an intention that you would like to work with tonight. So intention uh, can take various shapes. I, I like to think of intention as it's a seed we're planting. It may be motivated by that thing that brought us here tonight, but what is the seed that we're planting? And intentions can be what we might call primary intentions about the core self. Uh, some people might use, I am divine life. I am divine light. I am recovering. I am recovered. I am restored. I am renewed. Just see if there's an I am statement. I am whole. I am complete. Or maybe there's an intention you already work with. And sometimes it may feel more appropriate to use what we call a secondary intention, like I trust the process. 
I can show my emotions. I can recover. And you may not have a crystal clear intention just yet, and that's okay too. We'll see if one develops as we proceed with our meditation. So take a few moments. If you need to do any other movements before settling in, let that happen now. That if you're already feeling content and settled, just let that be. And my friends, you are now invited to close your eyes as we begin our yoga nidra meditation. If closing the eyes doesn't feel quite right to you today, you may keep them open, perhaps with a soft gaze. And if they happen to close naturally throughout the meditation, you always have permission to open them again, especially if you feel a bit unsteady or ungrounded. Notice your body making physical contact with the floor, with the chair, with whatever surface you're in contact with. And notice the breath as the breath naturally flows through the body without forcing. without striving. Let the mind begin to settle. Remember that you cannot do anything wrong in this process. If you wish to call upon a higher power or an inner power, some divine or universal connection, you may do so now. You may call upon that connection to be with you during this practice. And if you're willing, surrender yourself, surrender this time to that power. You are invited to fully embrace, embody your natural state of being. So without forcing or striving, take a nice deep breath in with the nose and then let it go naturally with the mouth. Try this a few more times at your own pace and you are always invited to make a sound of letting go as you exhale. Let go of any holding with each exhale. And let these organic breaths allow you to deepen, to deepen into our process. Your breath is your life force dancing through you. Let this dance flow. As you breathe in, know that you are breathing in. And as you breathe out, 
know that you are breathing out. Now bring your intention into full awareness. I invite you to bring the intention that you may have developed a few moments ago into awareness or notice if something organic is coming to you now. And please say that intention to yourself three times. So we'll now move into the practice of deliberate clench and release. If you cannot have any undue pressure on the head for any reason, please make sure you do not go all the way with these clenches. Take good care of yourself. Keep the breath flowing naturally if you cannot have any undue pressure on the head, even if some others of us may want to engage in a holding of the breath. Use your good judgment. So to begin, make fists, if that is available to you, and squeeze them tightly. Now hold the fists in this clenched position for a few moments, perhaps engaging a slight hold in the breath, tightening the fists, tightening them, holding, holding, and then let go, release. So following the flow of this release, continue to breathe and really notice the sense of letting go. that you may experience with each exhale. Now I invite you to clench the entire upper body. So on your next inhale, clench and tighten the fists, the arms, the shoulders, the face, the chest, the stomach, tightening them all, hold, hold, clench and then let go Whew. release 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 and continue to breathe and notice the sense of letting go with each exhale and now i will invite you to clench the entire lower body so on your next inhale, clench and tighten the buttocks, the hips, the legs, the feet, clench them all. Hold, hold, squeeze, and then let go. Let go fully and completely and fully allow yourself to experience the sensation of release, of release, of release.
Now draw your full attention to the breath once more. With every inhale, notice an expansion around the center of your body. And on your next natural exhale, pucker your lips as if you're about to exhale through a straw. Allowing the breath to slowly release through these pursed lips. And continue with this flow of straw breathing for a few more sets. Allowing the breath to release slowly and steadily. Slowly and steadily. Noticing that sensation of exhale. Now release the pucker of your mouth and resume normal breathing. Noticing whatever you may notice. To further deepen our meditation, I will ask you to scan the body. As I say the name of each body part, simply bring your full attention and awareness to that part of the body. Top of the head. back of the head, face, back of the neck, chest, your arms, stomach, Back, waist, hips, the legs, both feet. Now notice your entire body together as one. From the top of the head down to the bottom of your feet. From the top of the head down to the bottom of the feet. Noticing it all as complete wholeness. total and complete wholeness. As you spend this time with the body, Notice if there are any areas of holding or tension 
anxiety or strain. Now after your next inhale, make a deliberate intention to visualize your breath flowing to that part or area of the body. Continue with this pattern over the next several breaths. Allow your breath to fully move through the body to the places, to the parts, to the areas that need the breath the most. And as the breath continues to work its natural wonders in the body, allow any of this holding or tension, anxiety or strain to loosen, to dissolve, to let go. Here you may let go of all doing, all forcing, all striving. You are pure awareness, pure light. You are already whole. in this place of deep resting awareness, you are invited to notice your intention once again. Repeat your intention to yourself slowly and deliberately. Embracing the fullness of your intention. Repeating it to yourself several times as if you are whispering a prayer. Hold it in the deepest center of your being. And breathe into the fullness of this intention. If there is an area of your life that needs to experience a sense of healing right now, notice that. 
sending the healing power of your breath together with the power of your intention to that area of unfinished business. Know that when it comes to healing, to recovery, to restoration, to renewal, you do not have to force. You do not have to strive. Let the natural wisdom of your body, the body, and the breath guide you wherever you may need to go. You may also call upon your higher, your inner power, or any of your guides or ancestors to assist you in this healing process. Hold steady in the awareness and the knowing that you are already whole. You are already whole. So now we'll begin to transition from our formal meditation. Begin to invite gentle, small movements into the physical body. Perhaps wiggling your fingers or toes, maybe shrugging and releasing the shoulders. And from those small movements, begin to explore some larger movements or stretches that feel natural, that may feel organic to help you awaken. And as you move, Bring up your intention once more. Notice what it feels like to pair this internalized intention together with movement. Now, if you're lying down, roll on to the side of your body that feels most appropriate today. And that whole transition, hold that transition there for a moment before propping yourself into a sitting position. And if you're already sitting, continue to move in a way that feels healthy and nourishing in your body. perhaps twisting side to side, working the shoulders, working the neck a little bit more. And begin to open your eyes. Taking your time with this transition. Gently adjusting to the space that you're in. Do not rush. And this ends the formal yoga nidra practice.